This video is sponsored by Sophos Home. Here are eight hidden tips and tricks for macOS Big Sur that you might not know. Now, we do all know about macOS Big Sur's redesigned menu bar with a brand spanking new control center. But what about all of the new menu bar options it creates alongside it? macOS Big Sur brings us new controls for functions like Do Not Disturb, Airdrop, and even Now Playing. Speaking of now playing, you can now see what's currently playing from sources like Safari, Spotify, QuickTime, etc. To get these options on your Mac's menu bar, you can do so in the preference menu or you can just simply drag and drop them from control center to your menu bar. AirPods in macOS Big Sur now offer automatic switching between devices, and this fixes one of the more annoying struggles of connecting AirPods to your Mac. In the past, you'd have to fumble with Bluetooth connections or changing sound preferences, but now all you have to do is just pop your AirPods in your ears and start playing music or media on your Mac, and it just automatically switches devices. The Voice Memos app offers a way to now enhance your voice recordings by simply recording a voice memo, clicking the edit button in the top right corner, and then clicking the wand icon. This will automatically help clear up the audio by reducing background noise or echoes for your voice memos. This next tip is more of a friendly reminder that if 4K video support on YouTube is holding you back from deleting Chrome and going Safari full time, you'll be happy to know that Safari officially supports 4K videos on YouTube. Just head into a YouTube video and in the bottom right corner, click on the resolution icon and bump that up to 2160p for the 4K option. The widgets inside of Notification Center have been redesigned, and with the inclusion of new widgets, you'll be happy to know that you don't need to delete or re-add a widget in order to change its size or other options. Just simply right-click on the widget to edit the widget, and from here you can just change the size of that widget quickly and easily, again alongside other customization options. Now, speaking of right-clicking things, if you right-click on any notification, you'll have a few useful options available, like being able to deliver that specific notification quietly, or turn off notifications, or just jump into notification preferences altogether. Not sure if you noticed this, but the windows of applications sort of adopt a little bit of your wallpaper color in macOS Big Sur. It's not a huge deal to me personally, I actually kind of like it, but if you want to remove that window tinting, you can do so by going into System Preferences, General, and deselect Allow Wallpaper Tinting in Windows. And last but not least, we all know about the major messages features that were ported over from iOS and iPadOS 14, but perhaps one of the more unknown mentions is the ability to quickly add photos, GIFs, Memoji stickers, and even message effects. Yes, that's right, gone are the days where message effects are no longer visible or even sendable on the Mac, so feel free to start spamming your friends with slam messages all day long. Before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, Sophos Home. Sophos Home is security and privacy built for an entire family, regardless if they're Mac or PC users. It utilizes the same award-winning security features that keep Fortune 500 companies safe, stopping malware, ransomware, hacking exploits, and much more. Sophos Home also protects what you do online, keeping web-based banking and shopping safe and secure, protecting webcams, microphones, and even what you type. Sophos Home secures your privacy, and to make all this protection simple, Sophos Home allows you to manage security on up to 10 computers located anywhere in the world via the cloud. It's the best way to digitally protect your family or even your neighbors. And to learn more about Sophos Home, please click the link in the description down below.